Rise of China, my name is Lazy Gamer, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We last left off, uh, Connor kicked the shit out of Gavin. We know where Jericho is, and now we're probably going to be forced onto the case with the FBI, maybe? That They have to like us, to some degree. I don't know. Uh, and Marcus led a revolution, and we pre peacefully protested until they started killing our people. I gave them two chances to not kill our people, and then I kicked their ass. Alright, let's hop back into it. Oh, it's Kara! Time for a break from all of the action. To bring you Canada. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. being turned over to the authorities the country is grinding to a halt oh good hospitals and schools are closing water cuts blackouts and network failures are oh maybe most worrying of all our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel how about some music instead bring back the news B bitch i want the news I need to know what's happening in the world. Up you go. Uh oh. Forgot about that. Oops. Alright, find Jericho. Oh. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Clock is on. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. Have you? Be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. She's probably an android too, or to something. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Yeah, give you a phone call. And be careful. Take care of them. The man's a tank. It's impossible for him not to take care of us. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We do. Oh, the freighter. Ooh! I'm resistance fighter Connor. Oh, we're doing this, doing this garbage again. Oh, they're not gonna make me do it twice. That's good. Is Kara and Connor about to meet up? This, is this a, we want to have all three people in the same area? That'd be nuts. That's only been done once before, and that was Resident Evil Six, and nobody likes it but me. So, let's not talk about it. Who's that? Goblins? With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Oh, Hospital shit. Hello. Closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized androids. Marcus! We've got to find a warm the place for Alice. Is they're conducting raids across the city. Or us. And we gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing in and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, 
American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way oh. clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. We did it! We saved the world! Bullshit! The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting, but they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seem to be determined to massacre humans. There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to the violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. How do you feel? I'm hot and I'm cold at the same time. Oh shit, she's sick. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Okay. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Come on! I'll be back. Really? 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 All you ever want to do is talk about your daughter, and then, uh, now, now is when you're like, no, 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 no good, no good. the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. We've got to do something. Made no we can't just stand moment, by and let them slaughter us. The Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corporal, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world We're so close to all being together in the same area. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Okay. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. I... Mm. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? Yeah. You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Secret? She needs me. And I need her. It's a 
as simple as that. Ah, uh, codependence. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids. Where's Connor? They rushed the police to me. They slaughtered. Those things are monsters. Alice. What? Oh, uh, what? Well, uh, huh? Oh, huh? Jesus, to okay. What someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. That, okay, I thought they were literally just showing me Alice and was like, yeah, you didn't see that she had a blue ring this whole time. Does she know she's an android? She's been deviant for so long, she doesn't realize that she's even an android. Kara, is there something wrong? But I've been feeding her! I'm so conflicted. Forever. And I hope you pick up that phone because I fucking called it! Yeah! We're a family! God, my arm hurts so goddamn much. Don't go to the gym, it's bad for you. You'll be a lot of hurt, always. Where the hell is Connor? We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Okay, they also killed dozens of us while I was just standing there. You saw what they did to us back there. It doesn't matter what we do. We either fight for our freedom or we die in silence. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. God damn it. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. 
If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. I bullshit. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. What? He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Uh huh? I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I, I'm i keeping it. I just hope we never have to use it. I'm gonna say, I want it in my control, not anybody Whatever else's. I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You can't kill me. I'm the main character of the game. One of the three main characters of the game. It is a fake place. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? I've been ordered to take you alive. What have I done? But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Uh... What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational. I'm so confused by what I want right now. Inside you, something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? 
Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Oh, it's literally black and white. Oh my god! I am alive! We're all in the same area at the same time. This is weird. This is so cool! <laughs> and tragic. And tragic! This way. There must be an exit for the Oh my god! Yeah, people are dying here too! Okay, let's turn right. Let's turn right. Let's go ahead and turn. Second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Um. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Get in my way. If you want if you want to live, let me do my shit. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Oh boy, goodbye. God. It's too late, Captain. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? We can't leave him. Ah! No! I hit it. I'm sorry. No! I won't leave you. Clara, no. The man's a fucking tank. Let's go. Get in! Don't move. Oh my god. 
I'm so uncomfortable. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. There's so much happening! That looks good. That looks pretty good. Everybody gets their moment. You don't miss. Are you alright, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. I just opened the door to watch that girl die anyways. There's more down there. Follow me. Fuck you! Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! I'm not here for my ego! <laughs> Goodbye. Look out. Here they come. Don't move. We surrender. We surrender. Don't shoot. Okay, sure. I saved as many as I can so far, I think. Why the hell would I not intervene? Drop, drop. Get down. Don't move. Please don't kill me. I... Neat. Good. A great. Okay. Fuck this game. <laughs> All of it. Quick, we gotta go. Where? What's Connor up to right now? Don't move! Go and join the 
Go and join the others, what? You got nothing on us. Second, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, we saved everybody. Oh, my God. It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. Fuck you. She goes. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Oh! What? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Everybody's tree changed today. Marcus fled with his people, and that's how many people I saved, or how many people turned in Connor's. That's just a real picture of Brian Deckard in the corner. Jesus. Connor. Indifferent. He's a deviant. Frank's friend Amanda is very betrayed. A different family family. I I pff, I got nothing to say. Let's just go. Oh no. You always said that living was about making choices. So what if I chose to defend myself against Leo? Maybe you could still be alive. Maybe a lot of things could have been different. I Unless mean... All of this was just meant to happen. This sounds more reflective of the game. I don't know what to do anymore. All of my options are bad ones. No matter what I decide, I know there will be blood. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much.
With clothes like that, he must be somebody important. Let's go ahead and put that detonator down, though. We don't, we don't need to just be flaunting that. My fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Oh well. It happens. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Now he will, because I have control over all of you. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Oh, absolutely. Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Yeah! We're pals. That's a nice jacket Connor has, too. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. I mean, yeah. Whatever you decide, I'm with you. I'm with you, Marcus. See, saving his life did matter. It was to boost my ego. Just don't say shit to him. All right, neat. <laughs> Who's next? Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow. We'll follow you. Woo! Basically, we're all in this together because that's how I like to play things is I try to be as good as possible. Except for a game where I'm literally balancing lives in an all-out civil war. But, you know, fuck me, am I right? Is that North? I'm gonna talk to North first. Hey, North. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is probably all my fault. Hey, look, it's Pirate's Cove people. Survivor's wound camps. How many of us survived the attack? A lot. A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. Good. It's probably good. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. 
This is familiar. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nah. Nothing else matters. You are my people. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. I guess there's one way of looking at it. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Are you gonna say anything back? I mean, even if you even if you don't, just, just say it back. Just something. Do something! God damn it, Marcus! All right, Kara. Let's. Uh... I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. That's fair. It's very fair. Marcus. Thank you. Save our people. Oh. Uh. My choice of what? Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! Why? Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Ugh. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice, and if there's any humanity in them, they will listen, and if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? All right, I think I know what I'm doing. As long as Connor can succeed, as long as I can get those androids from Cyberlife, our demonstration will go flawlessly, probably. Marcus shows a protest for his people. Marcus on sacred ground. Is this whole thing what would have happened if, if, if he was alive? Carl died and broken. You fuck- You what? You did what? He may have been alive. My flow chart didn't matter here. Alright, we'll keep it going. At 6am this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. 
all electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. Well, oh, in addition that sounds to constitutional. These measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President! What? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Ma What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. Huh. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Just takes a Detroit taxi. That is a Jesus. Is Amanda in there? Or there, or there, or there, or there. Let's get this revolution on the road! Alright, now just don't be a deviant. Don't be weird. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Okay. They don't trust me very much. That's a new one. Connor Andrew identified. Agent 77 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. What the hell are you? Yeah, Connor's never looked around like that. Kind of collapsing in behind me. It's kind of weird, don't you think? Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Let's get this party started.
Oof. Well, this isn't going quite the way I thought. Ooh! Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Woo! Hey, why didn't my voice work anymore? They take away my authentication, my, my rights as, a, as an employee. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Except there's a curfew. Except there's a curfew. All right, we got time to top and talk, I guess. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. No, you're not. You'll feel better now. Are they going to catch us at the border now because she's not shivering? Did I just accidentally fuck it? Why is there just a gun? Why is there just a gun in the str- Oh, that's why. Alright. Well, that's my bad. I mean, they didn't give me any option. Usually I would just say no. I had usually. I picked up a gun every chance I've gotten this game. Come on. Let's not stay here. Oh boy. He's family. Okay, let's go. He's family. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. I just realized how silent I am during these sequences. Find a weapon, I picked up a goddamn gun! Well, I mean, I suppose a quieter weapon. Carol! 
Quiet. 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 Quiet, please. Quiet. Shut the fuck up. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see. Was that? This is the Pirate's Cove. Is that Jer Alice. Jerry? Luther. Anytime but now. Anytime but now. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal. Any place, any time. But they caught me alone. Yeah, way. you're a large man. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Very little time. Very little. Let's go. Let's get out of the city. Please. Time is running out. Oh. Unfortunate. I like how they keep doing that so it like forces you to watch all your people get executed right in front of you. This is your fault. Yeah, you're a large man, Luther. Come on. Come on. We did it, I think. I'm at a bus stop. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, or you might be safer. We have to do it. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. We're getting to Canada. Where are you going? Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Did he give our passports back? Hey, wait a minute. He knows Kara. They're gonna he kill didn't, us. He didn't give our passports back. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? He didn't give they're us. They're gonna shoot. No. They're gonna kill Alice. No, he, they're not. He didn't give me back my goddamn passport. Shut the. Calm down. You dropped this. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Jesus Christ, shoot, fuck you. God damn it, Luther. This is almost an international incident right we there. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Let's all be friendly here. Let's not get the AC 130s out. Military forces are ready to contain the demonstration.
See, I'm nervous because they have no reason not to gun us down. The public will be mad, but there's... They have no reason not to kill us. Here we are. The moment of truth. We are surrendering. We have no weapons. Hands up. There are hundreds That's of not us. the button I meant to hit. What are you going to do? You're going to kill us all? Mm. Shit. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story. Sure is. One I keep fucking up. Why aren't you deviant? Why aren't you a deviant like the rest? I didn't fuck up, you fucked up. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now. There is not. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Uh Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, Woo! we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. We need Connor. We need Connor, yeah! Holy shit, those, all, those are all Stay androids. Sharp. Oh, Shit. oops. All right, let's do this shit. He's fucking, what is with everybody throwing guns? <laughs> Why that one in particular? Why? Yeah, why am I choosing one in particular? What the hell? Hey, buddy. You're one of us now. Wait, what? Step back, Connor. 
and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Why? Why? It why though? But why though? The bus terminal. <laughs> but why? We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I wonder what would happen if, like, Todd were alive. I completely <laughs> forgot about him. We'll find them. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Find tickets. Okay. Um. Carol. What? They're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Marcus. Ugh! likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. <laughs> That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Uh, Them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I found this on the floor. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you you've saved our lives. Sorry, Alice. It's okay. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. Oh, oh shit, Luther's mad. Please don't move. Thank you. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be something. Who's it? Oh! Adam! The daughter! The son! <laughs> Oops. Oh, I forgot how words work. God, you're alive. Oh. oh my god. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. Nah. How did you find I'm us? better than that. Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're in the trunk of me car. They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? I don't think I have a lot of options. Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. Oh, fuck. This might be a very long episode, because this looks like it could be the finale. Two hour long episode coming right up!
Where do we get all these things? We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. Where's North? North, dear, are you mad at me? Right, that should do it. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah, let's fucking hope so. into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. But it wasn't. I'm scared I... I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Yes. I'll do whatever this man says. He convinced Connor and the Deviancy. But convinced me to turn Honor. This game's weird at this point. But I'm here to support the, the android, the boys. Where's North? This shit again? Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Two hour episode so I can light all the barrels again. Oh, there's North. North! Hey! Are you mad at me? You probably are, but hey. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. It's the thought that counts. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. It's possible. Maybe they just can't get through. It's what we hope for, isn't it? Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. Don't start <laughs> fucking de backing I out trust now. You. We all trust you. You get a no weird way of showing it. Now, we're making history. It's 
Stop having your weird android sex right in front of the whole group. Look how the game's like, hey, uh, we know that you made some peaceful choices. However... Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Huh. I, kinda, I don't like that one as much. I should have said equality. Hey now, let's go ahead and calm down. It won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Think Connor has any chance of making it? Yeah! Yeah, it's fine! We can only count on ourselves now. Yeah, no, 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 Connor, Connor's probably gonna make it, as long as my evil Connor Marcus. clone doesn't kill me. Marcus, come look! Or, hey. Oh, it's the FBI dude! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I need to. I'm not armed, Marcus. I just want to talk. Those guys aren't. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Not a chance in hell. Chance I'll have to take. They can't kill me. Do you know how good I am? At pressing buttons quickly, they yeah, I'm I'll be fine, alright? In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... None of you will be destroyed. No. <laughs> what happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were... No journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. Nah. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. That's fine. What did he say? 
He's gonna kill us all. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh! Right now! <laughs> your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him, or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! Okay. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. Great. I'm winning, right? without you get rid of him we have no time to lose it's me Hank I'm the real Connor one of you is my partner Jesus Christ the other is a sack of shit <laughs> question is who's who what are you doing Hank I'm the real Connor give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. why don't you ask us something Something only the real Connor would know. But my data banks were uploaded, weren't Where they? Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? It's Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. Uh, uh, That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Oof. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do. 
<laughs> oh, I already completed my mission. Turns out <laughs> he shot the wrong one. Hey, buddy. I need you to do something for me. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Ooh! Wake up, wake up, wake up. Ooh! Wake up. There's so many! They all look the same, but there's so many. What if this was a room of Connors instead? Let's go, friend. It's about time. I'm sorry we got held up. Did anybody see you? No, no, no. I don't think so. You got the money? Yes. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol on the banks and the river. Don't start your engine until you're out far enough. Okay? And watch the current. Good luck. We're fucked. What am I doing? Ah. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Who the fuck? All right. Hi. Remember that time you I couldn't hit understand me? why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. Took you long enough. I just hope people will realize that one day. Not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. Hey, you take good care of yourselves. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. Uh. Of course, couldn't have just followed me, could you? Let me help you. You gonna you joining us or uh... All right, no border patrol. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus Christ, we're sailing! We don't even need to turn on motors. Far enough out. Are we? Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. This is the part where we die because the engine doesn't start. You 
okay, Alice? When we get on the other side, there are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. Something bad about to happen? We won't have to be afraid anymore. Something bad's about to happen. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll lie down in the grass and watch the clouds drift by. What's about to happen? They're coming towards us! Did a shit luck. We're all fine. Nobody's injured. Nobody's injured. Nobody's injured. Luther ain't. They've gone. You all right? There's something wrong in my program. I'm sorry. Maybe I should reset. Or 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 something? Is there an option? Wait. What? Uh, are you sure you should continue? Maybe. Maybe we should leave things as they are. I... Yeah. As you wish. What? Surrender? You... Accelerate. Use Luth as a... Like a bullet shield? Fuck it. Jump quick. Did they just shoot our boat anyways? Everyone good? Oh, I'm good. So that's the start. Luther, you gotta get in the boat, my guy. You're not moving. Oh shit, we're fine. Okay, okay. Luther? Luther? Yeah? What about Luther? Are you alright? Shut up about her! Luther, no! The bullet wound. The most extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. Maybe part of a family. Take good care of Carol. You promise? Luther. No! The 
The boat is leaking. No shit. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. We gotta dump his body. We have to. I'm sorry, Luther. I'm sorry! The Titanic doesn't, or the door, the door from the ship doesn't have enough room for you, Leo. Re reduce it more? I'm about to throw Alice overboard. <laughs> the motor's broken, kick the motor off. Uh huh? Stay with me, Alice. You've got to stay awake, you hear me? Oh! It still operates the same. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Clara! Clara, no! Oh my god, go faster! Please, come on! Don't do this! Come on! No! She's fine, she's fine. Everything's fine. We're interrupting this news bulletin to the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Jesus! Now is when we have to fight back. Now we have to fight back. Where's Connor's army? Come on. Connor. Connor, please. Invaded the city of Detroit. A 
According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. What about Kara? What about Kara? Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. planned from the very beginning. You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. No! Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Got to be away. The blue button! Tell me it's the blue button! Where the fuck am I? That's what Kamsky was talking about! Cutter! The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. <sighs> where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both Holy our creators shit. and our oppressors, and tomorrow. We must make them our partners. I would have shot him in friends, front of everybody. But the time for anger is over. 
Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. That seemed ominous. Please, 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 for love of God. David Cage, don't fucking do this to me. David! David! We're free, Alice. We're free. Alice? Wake up! Alice! Jesus Christ, this game! <sighs> Brian Deckard, you beautiful man! <laughs> I was the only post credit scene to ever have mattered ever. Ever. Jesus Christ. Moral victory. Marcus's demonstration. All this. <laughs> Except the deal. Probably everybody dies. And I guess there was... If I, if I chose poorly... If I didn't have those two things unlocked... We would have died. If we started this... If we started singing... Actually, I guarantee, like... Singing is that one, and then the bottom one is death. Because singing is m I'm moving. But androids want freedom for the moment. For now. Sequel? Connor's last mission. Oh, wow. I, I didn't even see that entire chapter. 
Connor at the tower. Jesus. I guess that, I don't know, maybe that ends with me being deactivated if I didn't fight in the elevator. I haven't think of that. New Connor is Hank hostage. Stop conversation to save Hank. Connor's draw. Hank grabs gun. So right, wrong, right, wrong. We're all fucked. <laughs> Luther saved in crossroads. At bus terminal. I feel like there was no way to keep everybody alive during that bus ride. Or during the, the, the boat ride. But if I kept it, I feel like I could have saved everybody by being on the bus. Fuck. Kara captured nothing. I That's Jesus Christ. That's the whole revolution fighting chapter. And then we're back to this. So I didn't see three other entire chapters. Entire different games for this part. Yes. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play, but I'll be free. <laughs> Do you agree to let me go? You can say no. If your entire, I mean, I suppose it depends on your gameplay, but like, if you played the entire game revolting, and then you're like, no, I need a main menu, friend. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. This game, this game was phenomenal. I know it took me forever to get through, longer than everybody else, but I will say this, this is probably the fastest I've ever gone through a complete series, even if it did take like two months. But I, I, I don't know. There's everything about this game was amazing. Yes, I know I restarted a lot towards the end. Or maybe I cut it out and you don't even know that, so you don't know what I'm talking about. But I I think this is I think I'm okay with all these endings. Yes, I would love to see Marcus take down the entire US army and for Connor to just go all out in a war instead of trying to go um rally more soldiers, but I think realistically I got the morally right ending. I think this was I got the I got like the good ending, basically. I wish Luther was alive, but my moral compass was to give the tickets back. I don't know, I could spend probably an entire another two hours justifying all my decisions, but I think we I think we did a lot of a lot of good choices. I think I think this was I think I did right. I think I did good. I, if you if you play if you watch this whole playthrough, thank you. I'm amazed that you made it through, especially a two hour long episode, or just coming up on two hours now once I'm done editing it. But this was an amazing series. I, I don't, if I ever did other alternate timelines, I'd probably uh, stream it, just for the sake of seeing what else is out there. And plus, it gives me an excuse to stream again. I would do like you know Renegade option, the bad the bad Connor, the the bad Marcus, the the cold Kara kind of thing. But, I don't know. There, there's a billion things I could say about this game, but, like, the bottom line is I loved it. That was a phenomenal experience, and I'm glad I got to have it with you all. Because that's why I got the game, was to show you guys my choices and how I hate choosing incorrectly. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching this long series. I, I do, I love when I actually get to complete them, especially with how often I back out of a, a series. It makes stuff like this feel all the more important and, and special when I actually finish them. 
So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell button so you can see when I start a new series, whenever that may be. I might I might do a poll soon because to I want to play one game I've never played before or one that's my all time favorite ever. So either you'll see a straw poll on YouTube soon, or you already saw it weeks ago. But we'll see what this brings. Oh, three games. I did, I did want to beat one of them by the end of the year. Shit. All right, well, there'll be a few options, and, um, yeah, whatever. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, stick around. If you want to read my words, follow my face, all of those links in the description below me, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. We did it, Trace. We did it, Trace. We did it. We finished a whole series. We finished a series. Hour-long episodes. <laughs> no, no, you can't get on my desk. No, uh, but we did it. You've gotten so big since you were last on camera. Look at this beefy lad. He's so big. Oh, oh fuck. Everything in my body hurts right now.